morning on Today at the Pump, pedal power. The average price for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline this morning, $3.96. That's according to AAA. So some commuters are riding high in the saddle instead. The bike saddle, that is. NBC's Kerry Sanders is in Central Florida with more on this story. Kerry, good morning to you. Well, good morning. I'm on the Pinellas Trail here, which is not too far, really, from Clearwater. This is 37 miles long, and, uh, well, people are now increasingly commuting to work, like Michael Butler. Michael, what is it, four bucks a gallon doing it? Yeah, it's really hurting a lot of people, and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. Well, Michael Butler is not alone, as you'll see here. From coast to coast, a shift in the way Americans commute. In Coral Gables, Florida, Kim Ogren bikes to work, to the grocery store, on most errands. I save at least $200 a month. Government officials say with gas prices shifting daily, they're tracking this bike trend anecdotally. In West Palm Beach, Florida, once empty bike racks are now full. It's sort of a build and they will come on bus and train systems from Florida to Tulsa to Orange County, California. Transit officials report they're carrying more commuters with bikes than ever. In Houston, it's up 33 percent just this month. In Portland, one in ten transit riders brings their bike. Things have changed. America have gone from driving to riding bikes, and China have gone from riding bikes to driving cars. And that's the trend of America now. Some companies, like this bike wholesaler operating in 10 states, now pay employees to leave their cars at home. If they bike to work, walk to work, or use public transportation to get to work, we'll pay them $4 per round trip. In Boulder, Colorado, Pangea Organics has the blueprints to solve the leading complaint, arriving hot and sweaty. It's a number one priority to accommodate our bikers by building a locker room and changing facility showers for men and women. It's not just the cost-conscious biking these days. Increasingly, police departments are trading four wheels for two. Okay. Now, interestingly, some of those who have given up the car and are now on bicycle have discovered something that they didn't. In urban areas, they can actually get to work faster on a bike than they can in their car. And yesterday there was a challenge in New York City, a car versus a bike versus the subway. And Matt, who do you think won? The guy on the bike beat the subway and beat the car. You know, I'm just looking, Kerry, and it looks like you were really on the verge of running that thing right off the Pinellas path there. It's not no even... hands. Oh, there you go. You show off. All right, Kerry. Thanks very much.